a little bit of preaching to the choir, but I see it as, you know, these people are advocates and, we, and we're trying to equip them with the knowledge they need to, to carry this forward. We need transit, we're behind, we're getting there. Um, the right, right partnerships are gelling. Little by little, we're gonna have a system, um, we're gonna build out the system in the Twin Cities and it's gonna be, it's only gonna enhance. This is already a great place to live and this is just gonna make it even better. Um, it's often just sort of, you know, that shifting of behavior and just like trying something out and then and maybe you'll stick with it. So it's just trying to break down those barriers and, and get people thinking about it. Because it's about, it's about reducing congestion and improving air quality. But there's a lot of different reasons why any one individual is going to do it. And the education for our community to understand why investing in transit and transportation is smart, is a smart decision. It's smart for job creation. It's smart for economic development, it's smart because of environment and health reasons. People see it as smart transportation and that we have advocates on all sides of the political spectrum. What's really at stake is competition, regional competition for jobs and investment, um, alleviating future congestion. So this is not a statistical anomaly, this is a, a sustained trend of people choosing buses and trains more frequently. Yeah, I think policy is really about like where we're spending our money and then the infrastructure that we're putting in place.